Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's a new year. It, you might not be watching this in 2023, but if you are, it is February 7th, 2023. And the kind folks at Kamai, uh, several months ago actually, uh, told me they were going to send me their newer, newest mixer. And the reason I was interested in that is because I had given them some suggestions about their other mixer that they had, which was quite nice, but it was supposed to be a four channel mixer, but you could only use two channels if you wanted to use the, um, to use it with your phone, like USB or your computer. And I thought, oh, that really stinks. I mean, you could use it as a four channel mixer if you were just going into say a PA system for live performance, but most of my use would be to record videos. So I gave them, and one other thing that was something that I wish they would change and they did, was that you could put the effect, but it would be, um, you couldn't do it per, per um, instrument. Like it was gonna be all or nothing. So all of them had the effect or off. You could turn it off and just have one with the effect, but you couldn't, you know, you couldn't change it. So maybe you just want a little reverb on here and not so much on the other one, but now you can, that's what it says. So, but without further ado, let me open this box, which I did open, but I didn't open the box inside. I just had to make sure what it was. Um, anyway, I had the flu and then I pulled a muscle from coughing. So I've been a bit of a mess, but I feel like I'm on the mend on the other side of it. So I hope you all are faring well and getting through this winter. So here we go. This is the other one to show you the size. I used it with this adapter so that I could use it with my phone. All right, now I'll give you an up close of both, but just for now to see what it looks like. This is the USB out, see? So it's this nice small, but metal, so it feels really sturdy and a pretty quiet mixer. I didn't have any problems with noise. So there's the little one here by Kamais. So let's open the larger, maybe big sister, big brother, and see if we can input more instruments and still go USB. Okay. So it looks like it's the same color configuration. I don't mind, it looks nice. This one says professional mixer console and uh, they give you some ways that you can hook it you know, up with different instruments and uh, computer, headphones, speakers, and such like that. So without further ado, let's open this baby up. There is no model number that I can see to give you. This is new MI 3512. But if you just Google or go on Amazon and look up, or even their maybe website, you can find this mixer. Because it says four, six, or eight channel mic line mixer. We have a dedicated instruction booklet, which is nice. Not a lot of places have instruction booklets. You have to download everything. It comes with a bunch of, interesting, so a bunch of adapters. This is for the USB to the wall. This is, okay, good. So it looks like it's a USB-C. Uh, the other one was USB-C as well. I like USB-C, it's nice and sturdy and quiet and not as jangly as that other smaller USB. Ugh, it make me crazy when you, cause it would disconnect. And then I've been that, I've had bought so many mixers on my own. I can't even tell you. And they all, most of them have one issue or another. And then this one is just, okay, as if you just have, what is this for? Oh, okay, this is to connect. Oh, one is probably power, that's what I remember now. One is power and one is to connect to your, maybe your iPhone or your computer. Okay, so we'll, we'll look, I'll look at the instructions after. So that is all that is in the box, but it's, you know, it's packed well. First, let's look at this one and then we'll compare the two. I'm gonna get a little close so you can see it. Um, hmm. The first thing I notice, which I'm not crazy about, maybe I can tighten these screws on the bottom is, 
You hear that? It's a little loose. I don't recall that at all with this one. No, this is this is really solid. Hmm. Well, I'll try to tighten the screws later. Maybe in shipping, who knows? Okay, so let's look at it. It's it feels to be plastic here, but metal on the top. I don't know about the bottom now. It might be some kind of plastic. Maybe it's not metal, but or maybe it's just a hard plastic. Well, the other one felt like metal. This one, I'm not quite sure. All right, so let's see if you can. I'm gonna make sure you can see this. I'm gonna have to open, turn on this light here. All right, let's see. Yeah, that's a little, I'll make it look yellow just because it's my light fixture, but it's just, it's white, just trust me. Okay, so that's the front of it. And this is the part I was talking about. I don't like that. I'm gonna come back over here to the camera and I'll go over all the, the controls and such. So we have four quarter inch or XLR inputs. And that's nice because that means you can, if you wanted to, you can use four microphones. Most of the microphones are XLR, right? Um, however, I think only this one provides phantom power because you wouldn't want it on the others if it's not necessary. So I believe only this one would be, it could be like a condenser microphone requires phantom power. So if you have a condenser microphone and usually you'll know, uh, it'll say it, you can just press that on the in means it's on. And the bottom say pad, um, I feel like maybe that's if it's um, like a synth or something, but this could be a guitar or any kind of instrument that you, you would use a quarter inch plug into. I mean, you would plug your synthesizer in here, but I'm wondering if you would press pad if that's what it was. I'll look into that. And then you have, this is where the, this is how you get to your computer or your phone. So you plug this one in, the black one goes into here, and then you take the other end and you could, if you're using an iPhone like I use or an iPad, you, you would use this little adapter. This is the USB to, to lightning adapter. And what's nice about it is it has another port where you plug the, um, the, the cord, another cord and a wall wart or into a battery. I usually use a battery just cause I don't, I'm not usually near outlets. So you take the other side and power that with like a, like a, you know, a battery brick. I can show you that also. I always have them around. So power it with a battery brick. In fact, when I do the demonstration, I'll use that. So that's cool. So that's right here. Now, this one says line five and six, and it shows a CD, which I know is a little antiquated now, but it, it, they are RCA. So um, I believe that, you know, if you wanted to plug in something with RCA, maybe if you still have a phonograph or other equipment that is RCA, but these are all your inputs, okay? And it says five or six. So you could do mono. You, if it's stereo, you plug the left into the uh, white cord into the left and the red cord into the right. But you could do mono, I believe. Um, it says USB or line, but when you use this, you can't use, and this is where it's different. You have all of these you can use, I believe, to record to your USB device like your phone or your computer, but this line five and six, um, which was like the one on the other mixer was line uh, three and four, you see? So you do get extra, which is really nice. So these are the ones where it would have to go to the line out. They can't go to the um, phone or the computer. So you have these though, which is really nice. So you have four. Then you have your main out left and right. So if you wanted to plug this into stereo speakers, you could left and right. Um, if you just wanted to do one, if you just had a, an amplifier, um, you put it in the left one. 
Um, this is your phones. It's a quarter inch phone jack headphone. So if you only have eighth inch, you have to get some kind of adapter, which they sell. And this is the level of the headphones. Okay. Now let's, let me just turn it around so I can see it. Okay. So you have the level for each of the four inputs. You have also not just the volume. Ow. <laughs> Was a little sharp not just the volume but you have gain as well and that gives it a little more overdrive a little drive so you have to be careful with the gain you don't want to distort your signal be careful of these screws some are a little sharp okay so you have the on each one you have volume and this is the exciting part you have fx so you can actually control how much of this fx you want Obviously, you can't choose to have delay on one and reverb on, reverb on another, not with this mixer, but it's nice that it even has effects. Most of the time, they don't, so that's kind of cool. But since they do, at least you can utilize how much of an effect you want. So if I was using reverb, I might want a little more reverb on my voice for singing than I do maybe on the guitar. So you can choose to put as much or as little FX, which is the effects, reverb or whatever you choose, right with these orange knobs. They also have high and low, which is nice for the, you know, the frequency and in, you know, the EQ, you know, equalization of your sound. So you can really kind of get the sound that you want before you actually record. You can listen. So each one of these has that, which is nice. Um, then you have the volume going towards for your USB or your compute, the computer or the phone, however you're recording this with or, or streaming to, I believe. You could do it live, why not? So that's how much you have volume there. And this is the out of everything. It's a little confusing what the difference between the main out and the USB out. I guess, oh, this is the main out, right? So there you go, live and learn. So this is the out, like say you were playing live, this would be the out towards your amp or your speakers and you would control it from here. But your recording, you could also record and play live at the same time. You could record your performance and you wanna use this knob to put as much gain as you want, but without distorting it. So you don't wanna have the signal distort. You can always increase the gain. So I would always buy on caution and maybe not be as, you know, don't make it as hot. And these signals will show you, see it says clip. Okay, so you want it to be in the green. If it starts going yellow into orange, that means you're going to have a distorted wave, which is your recording. There's a green light for power. Um, and this is the this is the part that I'll have to do a little more research on, but I, from the other one, this is where you have your effects. And the effects go one through 27, those are your reverbs, 28 to 53, uh, de some type of delay. Not sure the difference between that and the next section is 54 to 63 echo. Then you have 64 to 72 chorus, and then it goes into flange, 73 to 75 tremolo, 76 to 78 wah-wah, 79 to 81 radio voice, so that'd be fun, 82 to 89 pitch shifter, so you can do some crazy stuff with your signal, and 90 to 95, oh, distortion and overdrive, okay, and then 96 to 100, multi-FX, ooh, so maybe they're combining a few of them, maybe delay and reverb. So we'll have to explore that when I plug it in. So you have dedicated lights for the um, microphone and the USB out. I'm not sure what this is. I don't really know. Oh, you can do Bluetooth. This has Bluetooth. Oh, that's kind of cool. So if you wanted to um, use some backing tracks or something from, from a different device, an iOS device or anything that has Bluetooth, you can pair it and then use that. That's very cool. And there are two ones, I guess one says straight and one is a circle. I don't know if there's a loop or what. Oh, mode, record and repeat. So I wonder if there's some kind of recording in here. I don't know. I will have to look at the instructions for that. So that's about it for this mixer. 
I'm gonna try to tighten these screws. Don't know why that's loose. But before I do, and before I turn it on, I wanna show you the difference in size. Honestly, they weigh about the same. I'm gonna be honest here. This one looks like it's made a little better. It's got screws on the side. This one doesn't, and I bet you that's why it's a little more wobbly. This is really held together tight. So I'm not sure if they use a different manufacturer, but they look very similar. But the difference, you know, I'm not really sure if they sacrifice any quality because they're giving you more um, inputs. I really hope it says quiet because that for me is the key. The sound has to be quiet or it ruins the recording or the stream. So I'm gonna bring them both up to you so you can see the difference. I believe they still sell this other one. Two. So this is the smaller one. Okay. I'm really happy with the um, quality of this one. And I've used it with great success. I've even used it with smaller mixers going into it so that I could utilize more than the two uh, inputs when I've done some uh, live jams you can look up. Maybe I'll, I could put the uh, link so you can see it. Um, using this mixer with a whole bunch of like synthesizers and drum machines and stuff like that. So they, that's it, everything else is very similar. Um, it is nice that they have a slider for the main out. It's kind of nice, people like sliders. But like I said, it's actually, or it's about the same in weight. It doesn't have these screws and I think that's what we're having that problem. Hey, hey listen, as long as the sound is good, I'm sure as long as you don't drop it, it'll be fine. But as I said, um, I really like the build quality on this one. This also does have phantom power on the second channel. And, but this one has both the quarter inch headphone input and microphone input right here and the uh, eighth inch rather. So this has the quarter inch and the quarter inch out, but this one only has the quarter inch out and for the mics. But I mean, that's not really, to me, it's not a big deal. I always have little adapters or, you know, it shouldn't really be a problem. So there you go. I'm gonna plug it in so you can see all the lights turn on. And then, um, in fact, right now, I'll go get the battery brick and we'll do it. So let's use the cords that came with the new one. I'll try to keep them separate. They look identical though, the black cord and the white one. And so this is the one that goes over here so you can see it. So I, all I did is plug the black cord into one part of this adapter and the other side goes right in the front. Okay, now the power, if you want to use it with the wall, you'd use this, but we are going to try it with this battery and see if it powers it up. If it doesn't, I'm sure one of them will. It's just a kind of trial and error. So this is the side you put the USB in the back. That's where this one is. And that's for power. Hmm. There's usually only one way. That is really weird. This one went right in. All right, I'm not thrilled with this. It doesn't go all the way in. That's it. So you have a little of the silver sticking out. I hope that doesn't mean it's going to disconnect. We sh soon shall see. <clears throat> So this is a good one to use. So I will give you the specs on here so you know which one to get. This one is a 3000 MAH and it's a 2.1 amp um, brick. Some are just two points, like two. So try to get the one that's 2.1 for the amps. This has 64% power. As I remembered, it really didn't drain very much at all. 
So I believe that just means the FX. Yeah, this is for the FX. And you just can scroll this nice bright screen. Just trying to see if it changes. No, it's just FX. I don't know why it says FH. I don't know, maybe they couldn't get an X. <laughs> All right, so, and it goes right back. What's nice is it's continuous. So, you don't, I really like that because why is it blinking? I hope it's not this wonky power thing. Um, I like that it's an endless encoder because if it stopped at 99, then you have to go all the ways backwards. So that's nice that you can just get to the one you want that way. And the light, I don't know why that's blinking. The Bluetooth light, I have no idea. Maybe it wants to pair or something, but I can't pair it because my phone is what I'm using to record this video. I'm not gonna do that. What else can I show you? Um, I guess that's it. I'm going to shut the video, read the instructions. Let me take them out. And hopefully it'll shed some light on, please tell me there are some in English. <sighs> there are some in English. Good, I got a little nervous, I will admit. <laughs> Type-C power, mic line, gain knob. Let's see if it says anything about the pad. So, oh, you can use this to play a, play from a flash drive. That's interesting. I'll never do that, but that's interesting. All right. So if you know what that means, pad, I'm pretty sure that's the difference between saying like, you know, an instrument versus line. When I see line on a mixer, I know that means like a keyboard or a drum machine or something like that. Yep, that's about it. There's not much to these, you know, but if you don't know the things that I mentioned, then you can look at the instructions and um, it'll, you know, tell you what each, each knob does, each input, and that's it. All right, so let's see what this baby sounds like. Okay, everybody, so I had a lot of trial and mostly error because uh, I'm sure it was user error. I did a whole recording, at least 45 minutes, me singing, demonstrating the different sounds, and I could only hear them. And when I listened, there was nothing different about the um, on the recording. So it turns out you have to have PC showing in the screen. It says PC. If you don't, it's going to your mix. So if you had an, you know, if you were putting it out to an audience, they would hear it. But to the computer, it had no effects at all. So you have to make sure it says PC so that it's, it's being recorded to your device, whether it's your computer or your, like me, your phone. Okay, so I'm going to put the reverb up. I'm going to play a little song I wrote. I have two instruments, well, my voice, microphone, a regular microphone, uh, not a phantom power, not a, um, a condenser mic. I can't even think of the name of the microphone that's not a condenser. Oh my God, I had COVID in July and I swear that still zapped some parts of my uh, memory. Uh, it's an easy thing. It's not a condenser mic. It's a dynamic mic. Whoa, thank you. So when you're using a mic like this, which is called a dynamic mic, uh, you don't need phantom power. I have it plugged into two because the other one on one, the phantom power light was still going on even though I had it off. But I'm going to plug other instruments later, so we'll have to use number one without phantom power. Uh, but right now, the mic is in two, and the guitar is in three. And I have no effects on, but I'm going to turn up the reverb, and that'll be on both, because again, you can only choose one. But you can change the amount on either one. So I'll start with the guitar. <laughs> nice you know sustain okay and now on the voice I'm gonna try okay that's wow a little reverb goes a long way so I think that's about right for me la yeah I can just hear a little bit okay so hopefully the the voice and the guitar it's the right balance um, so this is a song that I wrote called if we could do it all again
If we could do it all again Would we change the place we've settled in Change the pain we wrestle with Trade the love we're nestled in If we could do it all again we can live another life filled with someone else's tears and sighs would it fill the void inside would it make us feel alive if we could live another life perhaps it's all the same just another story just a different name perhaps it's all in game reaching for the glory running from the pain if we could do it all again we could do it all again would we be a better friend would we love without pretense or hide behind our circumstance if we could do it all again if we could live another life would we take the risk this time the risk we always leave behind for someone's braver heart to find if we could live another life perhaps it's all in vain a heart renewed by morning quickly ends up drained Perhaps it's like the rain Overwhelming when it's pouring Peaceful when it's tame If we could do it all again If we could do it all again Would we do it all again so uh, what do you think um so it's only two instruments i'm going to show you some of the ones that i fiddled with to find there are like 100 or 99 sounds, but there are a handful of really good ones, you know, so you have to really pick and choose the ones that, you know, will work for you. I'm going to show you the radio voice. I love that one. That's 79, in case you want to know. Hey, everybody. It's Maria. Welcome to WRIA in New York. Uh, this is your friendly hometown radio station where we play all the hits. This voice, this this is cool. It reminds me of, there was a radio personality um, in the 80s and 90s, I guess. Maybe she was even still doing it in the 2000s. Maybe she's still doing it. I can't remember her name. Oh, what was her name? I want to say Lily, but it wasn't Lily. So please, if you know who she is, I'm sure she was syndicated. In New York, I think it was on Light FM. But she would play at night, and she talks so softly, and she just seems so concerned about everyone, and people would call up and share their stories, and, and she would give them encouraging words, and, and then she'd choose a song that would fit their need, or maybe they'd ask for a song, and she would gladly play it. And boy, she just made you feel so happy and warm and fuzzy. 
So maybe that'll be my next job. Good evening, New York City. It's just about 8 o'clock on this Friday night, girls' night. I'm Delilah. You found a warm, safe place to head to on this winter's night. I'm going to be here with love songs and listener stories. With Delilah's Dilemmas, we have two of those now each evening because you asked for it. So we're giving you two instead of one. We've also got so much more to warm your heart and feed your soul like a hot bowl of chicken soup on a cold winter's night. Snuggle up with me on this Friday night. Call me. The phone lines are open. 1-800-222-1067. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, that's radio voice. Here's another radio voice. Okay, this is another radio voice. Okay, it's number 80. I can turn up the effect even more. Okay. And then there are a few delays that I liked. I didn't like all of them. In fact, I only liked a couple of them, um, but I don't remember the number. Let me see if I could quickly find one. Hello? Hello? Okay, Hello? that one. Okay, Hello? that one. What one was okay. that? Hello? 48? 48? Yeah, that was 48. I'm going to take it off my voice because I don't want it for the voice. Hello? Okay, so it's not on the voice anymore. And now I'm going to put it on the on the guitar. That's kind of fun. Um, I like it even slower, but you can't change that. Some and most of them are very quick. That's got a dun 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 dun. dun. I just find delays can get out of control. So anyway, you can fiddle around. I did not like the chorus or the flanger. Um, uh, the or the wah wah, <laughs> but oh, there was a pitch shifter on the voice. Let's try that one. It was really strange. Really strange. And and many of them didn't sound. Many of them didn't sound. Many of them did not sound good with the guitar, or many of them didn't sound good with the voice. You know, you have to pick. Um, so which was it? Uh, was after the radio voice. Hello, hello. That one's very strange. Uh, 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 can you come over? Yeah, it's just me, myself, and I. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's so frightening. I cannot play that for my husband. That's really scary. Hello? This kind of sounds like uh, trying to be a, like, almost like a double voice. Not a chorus, almost like a harmony. Hello? Hello? You hear the higher? Hello. Hello. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Hello. Hello. Oh, oh my god, god I can say <laughs> Look the, the dog's, dog's getting, getting upset. upset. <laughs> Christmas, Christmas, don't be late. <laughs> what, what is, is that, that song, song by the by the, the chipmunks? All I want a whole, a whole. So you'll have to decide, you know, what effects you like. Let me put it on back on radio. Okay, that's better. Some of the effects make me cuckoo. So you'll have to fool around. I, you know, I find you can't waste too much time just fooling around going through presets because then you never get any music done. So I just like to pick a couple that I like. So you see, I like radio voice and maybe some of the reverbs and then just go with it like that. So otherwise, I think it sounds pretty quiet. So hopefully this, you know, can represent your song as well as it can. And you can make a clean recording or do some streaming. I imagine I could just go on Facebook Live or YouTube Live and do this if, as long as it's working correctly. So let me get back with putting some other instruments. See if we can use like three or four and see, you know, how many will go to the uh, recording device this time. Because before, again, you only had two in the other mixer. So let's see what happens. <laughs> 